Hello and welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial, which is beginning tutorial 9, we are going to remove the extra material that has been left over from the previous beginning uh, tutorials. And we're going to remove this little extra bit of material. And we're going to do that with 2D contouring. So, we're going to click on our machining tab, and we are going to pick to create a roughing or a finishing 2D contour. Okay, so here's our 2D contour, and what we are going to do first is we're going to pick this line here, hold down control and pick this line here and then click curve now it's created these curves and it looks a little crazy over here because first of all we don't have the right cutter selected so let's see what the smallest cutter in it, you know the largest cutter we can get into this gap is right here so let's go ahead and click on our um, calipers and we'll click this wall click that wall and it says it's an eighth of an inch between the two so that's what we are going to do we're going to pick an eighth inch end mill so we're going to double click 2d contouring go to tool we're going to find do we have an eighth inch end mill in here yes we do eighth inch finished end mill tool number four our feeds and speeds 5040 looks good Lead in, lead out, safe level, 50 thousandths. Parameters. We need this to be bottom level of negative 0.25 because that is what the bottom of that surface is right there. And let's take it in four passes. And then in strategy, we're going to pick helical machining available and click OK. Helical machining will start at the top and then as it continues to go back and forth, it'll go deeper and deeper and deeper until it reaches its final um, depth. It will not go to one side, then drop, go to one side and then drop. It'll constantly be moving deeper and deeper. So you can see now our one um, green contour has gotten much better closer to the center here. And what we're going to do, um, SprueCam has dynamic 2D contours, which means you can drag um, just a simple line and make it different if you would like. So we're going to take this and pass our cursor over until we see that outline of a cutter and we're going to drag it out just like that and we're going to do the same thing back here you see the outline of the cutter and drag it out now we have that full line and we're going to mill that out and now we're going over to our next area here And we don't have to do this whole section, do we? So we're going to take that cutter and suck it all the way back up until we get just to here. And that looks like that'll be all we need to finish off that section. So now that we have our paths the way we want them to be, we're going to pick run and now we will go to our simulation tab and I'm going to double click in here to get a nice bright color something much different than what's here let's pick a, um, an orange how about that a nice bright orange and now we'll play, press play the cutter is going to come down here and let's see what it does. 
finishes off that section. And comes back and forth. And finishes off that section. Looks pretty good. Now it appears as the only thing that we have left to do on this side of the model is to do our chamfers around the outside edges. And that will be the focus of beginning tutorial 10. So this has been beginning tutorial 9 on the 2D contour and I hope you enjoyed it.